Alrighty, as you can see, experiment number three. Excuse me, experiment number two is off of this trellis. Experiment number three is actually already set and good to go. But now with experiment number one, I did something different. It wasn't much of that extra earth up on top. So what I did was I dumped it all in here along with those leaves. If you remember when we had that first strike invasion, uh, a lot of that dirt was dug up and I replaced it with some of those leaves. Are you on the farm? No. When we had that first strike invasion, I replaced a lot of that dirt with some of these leaves. However, I took out most of the earth from the pot and completely, completely uprooted the, the, the entire system. And we're going to go ahead and plant from scratch, starting with those leaves, because that's going to be our beneficial bacteria layer as it breaks down into nitrogen compounds. Okay, folks, for the sake of time, we're going to speed this up as well. Just like in experiment number two, we're going to do the exact same thing, except this time I'm completely removing the vine. I got down to about an inch or two left of soil. Uh, play, uh, made a hole down in there with my chopstick and started the vine from the, from the center of the pot and circled my way out. Added a layer of some VTI topped with soil, some more BTI, and a layer of that dead earth. Now I also decided to put those dead leaves inside there because they're going to add to the nitrogen cycle and feed those roots as they begin to grow. And of course there's about four inches hanging up out of the pot where our new growth will be occurring. Well, this is the level that we've gotten up to so far. I'm probably gonna fill it all the way up to this line right here. But I put in a little bit of that BTI. And uh, as you can see, plenty, plenty, plenty of earth left over. And then all that dead earth, which I think is actually starting to kind of come back to life, but we're still gonna cap it. Stay tuned. Also, as you can see, that Miracle Bro stick, I decided to, I tried to, tried to wrap it around the vines, but it ended up breaking into three pieces, so it's still all good. It's still wrapped around them. Okay, shout out to Fishy Biz Aquatics, because my man reminded me last night that there was a show back in the day called DuckTales. Ooh. And the main character, Scrooge McDuck, said, work smarter, not harder. So instead of digging all this up, I just dug a trench. I'm about to cover it up. And then apply the BTI. And uh, call it a day. All right, here we are, folks, in the final stage. Experiment two. Experiment one and experiment three. And uh, this is all the excess dirt from one and two. And we're just gonna use it to make sure that three is good and covered up. get our ring back around the celery ah uh, yeah you know I, at one point I did throw those out but uh we, we we just zoned off a section here inside the pothos experiment winter garden and uh what's not showing up on camera is that there are fungus nets everywhere so we're gonna Make sure that our mosquito bits 
are everywhere. And now there's only one thing left to do because there is one important member of the family that I left out and that is our Christmas cactus and um, you might be able to see some of the gnats in there shoot there's more gnats in this little small pot than there are in experiment number three but uh, we skipped its watering last week and the flower is beginning to wilt however I'm more likely to believe that that wilting was due to the fact that there was quite a bit of fungus gnats in there and those larvae are all about to die. So instead of that large trellis item that we were using, we now have chopsticks in experiments one and two. And the rest of this water right here is just gonna go for the celery. But we're gonna go ahead and fill up and get some more water for the rest of the winter garden. And we're gonna be as gentle as we possibly can. But we're gonna try to get all of this all of this BTS good and wet and the rest of this garden other than the celery which gets watered daily we're going to try to not touch it for the rest of the week we're going to try to get this soil to get good and dry before we do another watering kind of like what we do with the Christmas cactus we want that to we really want that to dry out before we add any more water to it that's just how the Christmas cactus is. It's a succulent. Now, all cactus are succulent, but all succulent are not cactus. So hopefully, with these weapons, we haven't just won the battle, but we've won the war against the fungus gnats. Next up, you already know, folks. Somebody's going down. Matter of fact, okay. <laughs> mm, I think I like the better on the other side. Thank you for tuning in to this update to the Winter Garden. Experiments two, one, three, and the Christmas Cactus will be updated shortly, momentarily. Stay tuned, folks. Now y'all know, <clears throat> now y'all know I live a vampire life. When that sun come up, the coffin closes and I call it a day. I have no idea how I'm still awake right now, but I found myself dozing off in the chair right here. And I promise you, all on my face, all up and down my arms and all down my legs, I feel like I'm getting bit the hell up. Yo, them gnats are really leaving them pots. I, I, I gotta take a shower. I'm itching all over right now. This is some bullshit. But um, I'm thinking that that stuff might be working. I, I thought it was supposed to kill their larva. But apparently the adults don't like it either because 
stay out the pot. Figured I'd throw that in as a little extra tidbit. And f besides, I forgot to tell y'all, never forget winners aren't people that never fail. They're people that never give up. So don't you ever give up.